All right, back to our yard sale. Yard selling. Well, we, we've shopped it. We we've got some it. good deals. Yeah. So what I recently picked up was this little goodie up front. You've got a My, good eye for that. Well, so you, you know see what? something, you say, I know I can do something with that chair. Here's the thing. You need to train the eye. There is yeah. a bit of a method to the madness. And are you on Pinterest, Tracy? I haven't been, oh, but I know people absolutely love it. I am a pin addict. Yeah. And one thing that I really do is I scout out projects on Pinterest to get inspired yeah. so that I can kind of scout out when I'm and, and when I'm at yard sales what I might be able to transform right so having an idea of what's going to work in your home and this is one piece that I had on Pinterest That's um, that I've, I'd, I've loved for a long time and I thought ooh, these dining chairs should be in my house but knowing me how frugal I am I didn't want to pay the sticker price right. so I found a collection of these chairs and the, the before chair there you can see was $20 or best offer yeah 15 bucks a chair oh good for you there were seven of them so an odd uh -huh. number so I decided to make six over for the dining room one over for my office so you'll see that there's two after that is so smart so two which afters. ones are the dining so the room. dining chairs are the gray chairs Very and pretty. one of the one of the key things when you're finding these chairs really looking for style is one thing but quality as frugal as you want to be mm -hmm. quality is such an important thing that you don't want to sacrifice so if you want to actually pop the uh, the seat out for me sure because you want show people you... to be able to sit in your actual chair yes they so need the to quality sit quality is bad forget it it's not the whole like look and don't touch thing they absolutely need to sit so you really want to look at the upholstery and in this case I knew I was going to be making it over mm -hmm. but the actual frame of the chair was in great condition solid wood it needed a few little tweaks that just a little bit of wood glue totally worked well with this the no nails I love Me too. I absolutely love this I brought to show what you don't want to use poly filler does not work it's not an adhesion okay. it'll basically just fill in the hole but it's not going to stick things together you want something super bonding right. super bonding and in fact I think somewhere it says on here it holds like I don't know how many tons so if you have you know very hefty people joining you for din for dinner. You don't have to worry about them you falling through your dining chair. You can do clothes hooks and everything with You this. can do everything. Okay. Works amazing on Good wood. Stuff. So once you have the frame taken care of, you want to pop out any upholstery bits. Mm -hmm. So this, the first thing I looked at, not the front because I knew that was going to change, but the back. Right. So I wanted to start peeling away the layers a little bit to see exactly what I had in here. And one thing that I noticed, I, I, I scored this a little bit with um, with a knife and the, the foam, if you feel it, it's kind of crunchy yeah, it and is. it's kind of disintegrating. So I knew that that was absolutely going to need to change. Right. So I started to take some of the upholstery off, just a screwdriver you want to lift some of this off the strappings in good condition so I was able to reuse that but I realized I was biting off a little more than I could chew. Oh, really? So one of my tips for yard sale finds is no one to call the experts. No one to call right. in the pros. The paint, not a problem. Mm -hmm. That frame, I was able to sand it down. So a good old, um, well, if you have a sanding block, flexible sanding block, if there's little crevices that you need to get into, this is great, but this is my ultimate mm -hmm. for sanding down because it has a removable plate. So you can have a circular sander that oh, goes on stuff. there. And this, I love a fine tip. Again, if you have detailed areas, yeah. you want to be able to get into all of the grooves there. And this actually flips around so you can have more of a block sander oh, on the bottom. Good. Makes the job go super duper fast. One of my favorite, favorite tools. So you were so, okay with the sanding. I was you okay with the okay sanding. With the I was okay with the painting. Yeah. Um, I have to say though, the dining chairs, I actually took to a professional sprayer. I was okay with doing a single chair. Yeah. The chair that was going in the office, right. one chair, no, no problem. Six chairs, if you want a really good professional finish, I took it to paint it like new, they sprayed They're it up. So good and when there. It, they are amazing. They always do such an incredible job. Mm -hmm. And when it came to the after of the upholstery, I am definitely not as talented as Stacy from Switch Studio, who did the gray chairs for me. Look at the pin tucking detail. I don't know if you it's can amazing. see them on the front. Is that not stunning? That's you take stunning a simple and the piping. The is piping. Stunning. Again, I'm okay with reupholstering a seat. Yeah. When it comes to piping details, you definitely know when to call in the pros, right. when to call the professionals is so important. Okay. Okay. And uh, and so you've got to sort of make that assessment and figure out, listen, I spent $15, is that how much it was on right. the chair? How much is it going to cost me if I want to go get it sprayed and if I want to get it upholstered? And often you'll still end up it, you know out what? front. Like I you sort of win in the end. I even, from my inspiration chair, but I was able to customize it. This didn't have the beautiful yeah, upholstery and this didn't have the color paint finish that right. I wanted. So I was able to, to really invest in something that 
suited suited my style, my Very taste. Very nice. Now I know that you're going to be having your own yard sale, and I this am. is all raising money, which is yes. Great. It's a, you know what when you're holding a yard sale, it's a great idea to actually we talked about getting the neighborhood involved, mm -hmm. but do it for a great cause. So I'm yard sailing for breast cancer, Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. The yeah. yard sale for the cure is on May 25th. So I've got my pink yes. proudly that I'm wearing, and you know what? That's when you're asking me about haggling. When yes. someone wants to haggle with you, you say, but it's for charity, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's hard for them not there to want to buy. Yeah, and it's a great true. way to get rid of all that stuff in your garage for a great cause. That's a very good tip. May 20, 25th? May 25th. May 25th, 25th for the we'll be cure. looking out for that. Let's go to break. Stay with us.